Oliver, super oh. sub. You've just scored the goal that took down United. What a result that is for you. Yeah, uh, amazing result. Really uh, must win for us and uh, yeah, tough for the boys to put in a great shift. This is a historical moment as well. The last win at Old Trafford for Sheffield United, 1973. Oh. We're, we're thinking this is probably the upset of the season so far and it's been a, a crazy season. Yeah, uh, well, long time ago. Um, but yeah, uh, like I said, amazing feeling and um, it's amazing for me as well to get the goal and I'm, I'm buzzing for the boys and uh, hopefully we can take that into our next games. Well, that's it. It's not just three points, is it? This could transform the season in terms of belief and confidence. Definitely. Uh, I think that'll give us uh, massive confidence and uh, yeah, let's, let's hope we can take it into our next games. Yeah, were you praying that was going in? It was a thigh, a crossbar, <laughs> yeah, bouncing I everywhere? Yeah, um, <laughs> finally. I mean, it took me two attempts, but uh, no, amazing feeling when it hit the back of the net. And of course, to do that, having United back in the game with the equaliser, that shows a lot of character for a side that's down, you know, rated the worst in Premier League history after 19 games, apparently. <laughs> yeah, um, tough one to, yeah, to listen to that, but... Uh, obviously, uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, um, hopefully we take that into our next games and, yeah, uh, show great courage and uh, great determination to, to get back in the game and to get the three points is uh, brilliant. Chris gets you well organised, doesn't he? You could see a pink wall there this evening. Yeah, I think uh, that's what we show. We show great character and, uh, um, you know, we never stop every single ball we fight for and we give 100% in every game we play. And uh, this season we've been close in every game we've played. It's just not really got, gone our way, unfortunately. Uh, and we show great signs of uh, great play in the game today. And every game we've played, we've showed great football. We just uh, haven't taken away the three points, but hopefully now we can go on a bit of a run and hopefully it gives us a big boost. Yeah, what a wonderful reward. And it's only Manchester City next now. Yeah, uh, another tough one, but yeah, uh, that will give us uh, great belief now. Congratulations, Robert. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wow, congratulations to him, to Chris Wilder, to everyone involved with Sheffield United tonight. I'm sure you Sheffield United fans enjoyed that one. Look, Peter, you've been there. You know how it feels to be scrapping for your, mm. for your survival in the Premier League. It is still 10 points. It is still a huge ask. But that is so much more, maybe, than just three points this evening. Yeah, let's be honest. They've got a mountain to climb uh, from the early season form, but... That's something to build on, isn't it? I thought they were magnificent, you know, defensively. Uh, they were working hard. It's probably what we haven't seen. I think they've been close in some games and just haven't got the results. But to beat Manchester United at Old Trafford, as bad as you know, Manchester United were at times, uh, I'll let Rio get into that. But Sheffield United deserves a lot of credit and they've got something to build on now. The challenge for them is that they've got a really tricky game next and it can so quickly get sort of swamped again by another bad result. It's, it's about building on this for Chris Wilder. Yeah, they've got to build on it. I think it's huge credit Chris Wilder and his, uh, his, his staff, uh, but also the team. Um, they didn't even have the full amount of substitutes today. That's how bare his squad is. But it comes down to spirit. And I think, like Crouch, you said, they've been in all, most of the games that they've played this season. Mm. It's just maybe that little bit of quality and cutting edge they've, they've just missed this season. So they found it today, um, unfortunately for Manchester United and my, my sake. But that's part and parcel of football. Man United were asked, can you go again? Can you match what Man City done yesterday? They fouled in that today. Right, let's talk about the overall picture then. I know you're itching to get onto the touch screen and talk about goals and specific moments, but the big picture, you won six of these for Manchester United. You know what it takes to win it. Mm. Where did it go wrong tonight? They didn't have that zip about them from minute one, really. There wasn't that, that cut and thrust that we've seen from Man United where they're cutting through teams. I think, listen, credit again to Chris Wilder's team. He set them up defensively very well. But Man United didn't ask the questions. Bruno Fernandes, who they, they've relied on so heavily in recent weeks, in months since he's been there, didn't get it going today. Paul Pogba the same. Rashford and Martial were invisible tonight, really. Didn't get on the end of anything. Didn't create anything. And listen, if anybody was starting to get carried away at Old Trafford in the position that they're in at the moment, the reality check was tonight. It's been an emotional roller coaster sitting next to him for you for the last 90 minutes, hasn't it? <laughs> mm, I've enjoyed it. <laughs> I bet you have. <laughs> From Yorkshire to beat Manchester United at Old Trafford in the Premier League, masterminded by a Yorkshireman. Chris Wilder is with Des. Chris, that's not just another three points, is it? That's a tremendous performance and a tremendous moment in your season. Yeah, um, there's not been many, Des. Uh, so I've just said to the players, they're jumping about in there, which I think they have, have every right to, because it's been a tough old season so far. Um, but they're enjoying the win. And obviously, to bring everybody back down to earth tomorrow, um, we go again over the other side of town. <laughs> so uh, 
yeah, it's, 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 it's obviously a great result and I'm just delighted for the players because obviously they've had to go through a nail of a lot this season. And I know you want to keep a little bit of a lid on it because people get carried away, but the last win at Old Trafford by Sheffield United was in 1973. Tony Curry, one of the scorers. So this, this is a He's a player, isn't he? He was good. Yeah, my old so you've pals, done what he did. <laughs> yeah, my old pals, uh, Badger, Emsley and, T, and TC, um, that uh, have been at the football club for a long while and I know um, followers um, with everything they've got so um, yeah I mean obviously it's a long time and uh, it's a special it's a special result for us and it had to had to be a, a special performance and I thought it was as well and when you look at the season's results and you see those lines of red L's and you, you just kept the spirit you kept going and you've got the reward tonight yeah I mean we talked about big moments which we took today uh, tonight um, a touch of luck, obviously, with a, I think, be really, um, really uh, unfair on possibly Ollie Burke uh, to say it was a, a, a not his goal, but uh, I thought it was a good good bit of play. Um, great reaction, obviously, to uh, to an equaliser to come back and stick his noses in front again. And um, uh, now we've got a few supporters that uh, that that, uh, that work for you, so. Rio, um, I hope he's got a big smile on his face as well because uh, he's, he's a massive supporter of me, me and the team and uh, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a great moment for us. We go. Maybe not tonight. Uh, right, brilliant night for him, bad night for your old club. Let's get into a moment that you think kind of sums up the night from a United perspective. Yeah, and I think recently Man United have been, in terms of reaction to certain situations, they've been fantastic and that's what's got them to this point. But tonight it just seemed to come crumbling down in that respect. The ball goes into Martial here, who had an off night in, it, in itself. But the ball goes into him and I think this isn't his fault, this is, this is Matic. He's give the ball to him and run past him. In the end, he's got three players around him surrounded. Where does he expect him to go, Matic? You've got to support the play and wait for him to, to, to play the ball back into you. I'll let it run on, but it's about the reaction. And I want you to see in a minute Martial, where he, end, where he ends up when the ball gets it around the penalty box for, for Manchester United. He ambles back. I want to see a reaction of sprinting back, jogging. Mm. In yesterday, that doesn't happen. They get back here. Look, there's Martial. There's two or three passes that have gone on. He's still jogging back, ambling back. I want to see an intensity, a reaction the team, to get back Let's say back Wayne in. Rooney in a Premier League winning team. What's he done in that situation? He's, he's launching that player or the ball out of the, into already, the stands yeah. already. He's back there causing a ruckus to make sure he, 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 he makes that mistake right. But I don't see that intensity here. And, and it's not just Martial. It's not just about him. I can pick a couple out here and I will. David De Gea should clear his lines, get it out of the stadium. But it's here. The ball goes to... to please, I'm begging you, get out. Show me a reaction, intensity. Get out and affect the ball. Hands behind the back, which I hate as well. Walk him. Plays the ball to a man, unmarked in the penalty box. Scuffs it, ricochet. But even again here, watch the reaction of the players. Martial, please sprint to him. Please go out there and affect mm. the man on the ball. He doesn't. Please, Mr Matic, get out to the ball and affect people. This is like two, three, four passes on the so bounce. Before you move on, What's this about in this situation with the title on the line? That's what's this about? It's, it's desire, isn't it? Yeah, it's, desire. It's, it's desire. It starts with, with Marshall, you know, plodding back, backwards. And then when they get into this position here, there's no, Matic is... 